we are in the WrestleMania season. We're all pumped up for this huge event all week long in Los Angeles. There's going to be something from morning till night. So if you're going there, you know, there's WrestleCon, there's WrestleMania, you know, Impact, New Japan, everybody's involved that week. But your first WrestleMania was WrestleMania 13 as an enforcer. Oh, I actually have the magazine right there. The magazine's right there. WrestleMania 13, uh, Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin, originally not supposed to be the match, but it does happen. And then you are the enforcer. How does this come to be? Because obviously you're joining the company and suddenly they're like, hey, we want to introduce you in a different manner. You're going to be the enforcer in this match that went down and is still today probably the greatest WrestleMania match of all time. And you're in it. It was a risk. I mean, they had to take a risk on that because I wasn't a pro wrestler. And going into that match, I didn't have any real experience, at least at that point. I did when I was um, a little about, you know, five years prior, six years prior to that, but not not at this level. Yeah. So going into it, I truly didn't even know whether or not I was going to be able to do what I needed to do to because referees are important in making making sure matches go over because there are certain things they have to do to make sure those spots count. And I was in a few different situations where I had to make sure that happened. And you know, um, when I go in there, I remember thinking about I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I can pretend to be involved in this. And so I felt like, well, I'm, I've always been that guy. Well, I'll just jump in and just see what happens and go out there and perform the best I can. We'll just let the chips fall where they fall. And so I remember going out there and about five minutes into the match. I'm thinking to myself, man, I can't believe what I'm seeing here. I mean, I couldn't tell you the difference between what was happening when I was fighting in MMA as opposed to what they were doing in the wrestling room. It was so believable and so good how those guys were performing that I just lost myself in the match and I just became, it just became normal to me. And I truly believe that that's why people really put that uh, WrestleMania 13 as one of the best wrestling matches ever um, up there with not saying it was the best because I haven't been around that long, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, people saying that it's right there with all of them. And I agree because I was in there and I couldn't tell the difference. Yeah, that I still I think as someone I've been watching for a very long time, and I think that it still goes down as if not the, one of the greatest matches of all time, like top 10, you know, WWE style. But obviously, WrestleMania, it's got to be one or two on people's lists like it's not lower than two. It's definitely, you know, it's always one or two.